Hey, what's up again, everybody? This is Chris Benham with BenhamBaseballCards.com. I am going to try to bring you a new type of video. I know everybody's uh, definitely seen a lot of the baseball card box break videos that I've produced for specifically for YouTube for people to be able to learn about my site itself and to learn about uh, what kind of cards you may get in certain boxes. Um, I enjoy doing it tremendously. It's it's a great deal of fun. To, I mean, there's nobody out there that collects baseball cards that would disagree with me that busting packs is always fun. Um, it's tremendously exciting and it's kind of old school fun. It's not what a lot of the youngsters do today to try to generate fun. Um, we are on the eBay homepage here. I'm going to attempt to to film a newer style video here. I'm going to try a tutorial. Um, I had somebody ask me about what the process was to sell on eBay, so I'm going to I'm going to try to show everybody or anybody that wants to see a quick way or the a, a completed way, at least a, my way that I try to sell on eBay. Uh, it's always worked for me. I don't ever have any problems with it. So, and I still have an account on eBay after six six full years of doing this. I still have an account, so I I can't be doing too many things wrong. And I do have a tremendous sales volume for somebody who just does this as a hobby, or at least a respectable sales volume. Like I said, I'm on the eBay homepage here. You have to be logged in to sell or buy on eBay. <clears throat> you can see I'm logged in and there's Benham baseball cards. Uh, we are going to do sell today. Don't worry about any of this stuff here. It's just uh, assistance for you or some of its information. Um, we're not going to worry about any of that stuff. You're going to click either on the sell an item link here in the drop down or you can just click on the sell button which is what I'm going to do. It'll take us to the, the sell page or the opening sell page. We're going to click on start selling, the blue button. And you're going to want to click on this Browse Categories button here. It, this tells me that I had, uh, uh, on a previous attempt to film a video that didn't work out the way I wanted it, uh, it's telling me that I have, I started a listing already, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to go through the process for you. And it'll delete that as soon as I start a new one. It'll delete that. I'm gonna, we're going to click on Browse Categories. It's going to bring us a list of categories here, and because I'm... Obviously, if I'm logged in as Benham Baseball Cards, I own BenhamBaseballCards.com, and everybody knows that I do videos and sell baseball cards. We are going to use baseball cards as a sample. It's the most sens it's the most sensible uh, item sample for us to use here. We're going to go to Sports Memorabilia Cards and Fan Shop. <clears throat> uh, I always select cards, but you don't have to. You can select any of these other more specific categories. I try to keep my categories very broad to in order to gain the most exposure to my items. And I'm going to keep it more broad here with baseball. So it sports memorabilia, cards and fan shop, cards and then baseball. That's a pretty broad category there. <clears throat> it's telling us that uh, we're done here. It gave us a check mark that says to press the continue button. We're going to click the continue button and move on to the next screen. And right here, in case you want to change your mind and you want to go to into, into a different category or you want to sell a football card instead of a baseball card, you can just click this Change Category link. It'll take you right back to that previous screen. And instead of the baseball in that third section, you can just go down and click Football. And then click Continue again. It'll bring you right back here, and it'll just say Football here instead. Uh, this is your title. Anything with this green asterisk? asterisk I can't say it because my mouth is dry right now. Uh, this green asterisk. Asterisk. It's actually pronounced plural, but it's it only means one. The star. I guess I'll call it a star. That's what everybody else calls it. Any section that has this next to it, you have to fill that out or it will kick your listing back to you with some red. Uh, I'll show you a little bit later what it'll do so you know when you'll recognize it when you see it. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Uh, filled in a title there. You can put a subtitle in if you want for extra money. It's for baseball cards. It's not worth it. Uh, that's probably worth. That's probably three times what a baseball card is worth, or at least a common card. Uh, down here to the item specifics. You, I always click original. You can choose from reprint or unknown. In the product, you can choose from what type of product it is. I'm going to choose single. Again, because you could choose either one of these, but I don't choose insert or parallel because it it makes the the listing too difficult to find. I like to keep this the search criteria broad. Um, again, to get it to the, the largest audience. So I click single. 
and the era would be most for in most cases it's going to be between 1981 now which is what can eBay considers the modern era you can select whatever year it is for these uh, tutorials that I've been practicing to try to do I keep selecting 2010 and I selected that from the drop-down menu you can even start to type something and it'll bring it up here in the drop-down menu <clears throat> Or you can also hit, and there should be a nice big old list of teams here. Because I'm a Tigers fan, I always keep picking the Tigers. Uh... Oh, look at that. Alan Trammell's in there this time. I always keep picking the Tigers-related stuff because that's where I'm from, Michigan. Go Michigan. And you'll select a card manufacturer, which today uh, most most people are going to select Tops or Upper Deck. Either one. I mean, that's, that's all the only two companies that are left other than minor, minor companies like uh, TriStar or Best does uh, minor league cards. There's a few oddball companies, but everything else, the main number, the main names are gone other than Tops and Upper Deck, and Upper Deck's not looking too good right now. So we've got that section done. I'll bring this back up here so you can see this again. You, you can choose to do this. You do not have to. This whole section right here does not have to be done. You can just leave it blank. Uh, but if you do do this section, you can check mark any one of these boxes or any combination of these boxes or all of them. Uh, and you can add your own box in if you want to sell a refractor card. You can hit add and it'll put a check marked box already in there with you whatever you typed in the box. And it'll make the, uh, it'll include that in the search results. So if somebody types in refractor, this listing will come up. You can mark whether it's graded or not. I never do because I don't have graded cards. I mean, I have a few, but I don't really try to sell them. That's not where my desire truly is. You can choose what company graded it for you if it's on that list, or you can type in your own again. Here's the picture section, which is probably the most important part of your auction, in my opinion. You're going to click on Add Pictures. You're going to go up in here into this window that appears. A new window. And you're going to click on Basic. And if you don't like the Basic one or if you have problems, uh, you can try this standard upload over here by clicking on this link. We're going to use the basic one. We're going to click choose file that for some reason is always cut off for me there. Uh, we're going to go all the way over here and select a specific card uh, that kind of honors the person that asked me the question. Uh, when I clicked on that picture, it put it in this uh, table right here for me, but it, it's still pending. And I can also remove it if I select the wrong picture. But it's still pending until I hit this button, this button down here that says Upload. Then the status changes from pending to a lavender colored circle, counterclockwise spinning circle. And it should.